Yo, 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 what is happening, gentlemen? Today we're gonna be looking at the predator catchers that beat up the ones they catch. All right, so I'm sure everybody here knows what a predator catcher is. We've all seen them, bro. It originated with Chris Hansen back in the day, and nowadays, I swear to God, it's like trendy to be a predator catcher. There's guys everywhere going on their phones and then luring these pedos to like Walmarts or parking lots or just public places, and then just exposing the shit out of them, pretty much just confronting them, calling them out, and just essentially ruining their lives, which is great. But there are a couple guys that we're gonna suss out in this video that literally just beat the chiz out of them. They beat the bejesus out of these They don't do the regular shtick where they pull up to the Walmart, you know, hold a fucking notepad and stand there for 40 minutes while the predator sits there trying not to cry, just asking them those bland questions. So, uh, are you John? Yeah. Were you here to meet a 14 year old girl? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the same shit, but these guys don't do that. These guys beat the chisel sticks out of the predators and goddamn do I love it. So I just thought, you know, may as well react to it. It's called These Pred Catchers Are Getting Out of Hand, but uh, yeah, let's watch this because it's fucking amazing, gentlemen. Go get them. Jinkies. Oh, Scoop. That is the most degrading shit I've ever seen. I'm not even kidding. That's pathetic. Just imagine bending down to a dude and crawling on all fours. Like, bro, that is pathetic. Oh. Anyway. What kind of mysteries we got ourselves into today, Alan? Why are you doing this? Because you're a Oh, God. You came to meet a little boy talking about how many Look, guys you got. I'm not interested in that, man, okay? I'm not interested. I just don't go home. You think I'm selling you something? Yo, these pred catches are getting out of hand. They had this man crawling like he was looking for a revive in Fortnite. They got this man doing the Velma special. They got this man on the floor in a target yelling jinkies. That is actually embarrassing. And yeah, that is legit the most embarrassing shit I've ever seen, bro. That is like, that's degrading as fuck. What's even more embarrassing is that this man was out here saying, I'm not interested, as if he didn't just try to link up with a teenager. He's acting <laughs> like this man is some sort of door-to-door -door salesman. I mean, I did try to meet up with a little boy, but I'm not interested. Like, bro, he's not trying to sell you something. He's trying to get you locked up in that slammer, my guy. But if you thought that this- Yeah, for real, the guy's like, hey, like, come on, man, this isn't cool. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. This was crazy. When I tell you, these pred catches get even more insane. They Lately, there's been a whole new wave of pred catchers and instead of just embarrassing these predators like Chris Hansen, Skeeter Jean, or predator poachers. Why are you black? Yeah, it's probably a angry or something. People are now- Bro, these people are so fucking stupid. Predators, I'm not even kidding, they're actually as dumb as rocks. Well, obviously they are. Like, anybody who meets up with a minor is just the dumbest person in existence. But like, something about these predators, they're just all so fucking dumb. I don't know why, it's like- just their IQ must be below zero. We're now just straight up beating up these predators. You just, that. you said maybe. That's not a big Affirmative or disavowed. You keep <laughs> searching for the best. Stupid fucking ad. Piss off, mate. It's beautiful, though. It is beautiful. Affirmative or disavowed. <laughs> you keep pointing that finger at me. And you don't get your ring. Now, maybe it's, it's a good answer to try to pick up with little, pick up little boys. Is it? Is maybe a good answer? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, <laughs> going down. No, bro. Oh, he's help. trying to pick up little kids. This dude's yelling out help, bro. Like, <laughs> why are they like cartoon characters, bro? Why does this dude run like fucking Mario? Look at this dude, bro. Look how this guy this runs. He runs like he has a stick up his ass. ass. This one genuinely cracks me up every time I see it. The way that this man just gave him the pimp slap of death mid-sentence. It also cracks me up how this man literally just swings, misses, and says, ooh, I missed. Ooh, I missed. Like it's some sort of arcade game. <laughs> like He says it like he's playing with his friends and they're playing like baseball or slapsies or some shit. He goes to like slap his friend. Ooh, I missed. Like that is how little of a threat this dude values these preds, bro. It is so funny. Bro. And to top it all off, this man just runs him into the table. Like peak entertainment. If I do say so myself here's Incredible. another pred catch where this predator ends up getting slapped up who used your picture oh this one's so good with, um, that little girl that you was gonna be here right i don't know bro all right Talk Nah, he so deserved it there, bro. Don't be a fucking smart ass if you're there to meet up with a minor that is just life sense bro if you get caught trying to meet up with a minor don't be a smart ass you don't know do you want to get the police involved you don't know you think <laughs> he's about to cry <laughs> No, I don't think you're Okay, stupid. so is some CIA agent using your picture or are you using your picture? 
The other night, I was talking to somebody on Home my different what? Real quick, real quick, that's one other thing that annoys the fuck out of me, bro. These predators, they always do the same thing. I've watched so many of these now. They always do the one thing where they try to downplay what they did. They're like, oh yeah, no, nah, you're right, you got me. I was talking to someone and I was here to meet someone. But they don't like go into detail on who it was. It's like, bro, you were there to meet someone who is under the legal age. But they're like, oh no, yeah, I was talking to someone. Uh, I'm sorry, like, I'll, I'll go now. I won't do it again. Like, bro, you got caught. You're about to get exposed. The people who you went to fucking elementary school with are gonna see this. Your life is over. You're getting Fired from your job, shut the fuck up and just take it. What? And what, no, hold on. And what happened? It so, was so, a, it so you're was not here. To, you're not here to meet a 13-year-old girl. No. Cap. My bad, yeah. Josh. <laughs> My bad, Josh. <laughs> no. Flying out his ass. Excuse me, everybody. I'm trying to pick up a little girl. Right here came to be the 13-year-old girl off the app whisper. You on the phone, right? So you, you used to. <laughs> no, look at this dude's face, bro. I got him in the way. I'm in the way. I'm in the way. Bro, look at this dude's face. <laughs> you used to write next. <laughs> no, it's even worse now. In your city! Now, the two main pred catchers that are beating on these predators are a guy that goes by the name of J. Carnicom DAP and Shua Mundy. And if you thought that they couldn't get any crazier, there's another pred catch that they did where they literally hit this man with a bro. Walmart cart. You no. Gonna, you know, boy tonight, don't grab my phone. Why'd you thought? Why'd you gonna be a third? Oh, what? Wait, wait, I missed it. I missed it. You know, boy tonight, don't grab my phone. Why'd you thought? Why'd you gonna be a third? <laughs> why are you gonna be a third? year old boy. <laughs> it's like next level degrading, bro. This boy shot. This man was shot at me. The thirteen year old. Why does this dude run like an elf, bro? This dude, he literally runs like one of those little Aladdin characters. Well, I don't know. He just reminds me of like one of Santa's little helpers. Boy, like this <laughs> and with these pred catches, there's even moments where these predators will even try to fight back. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh! 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 Was that a leg kick? Hell yeah, some dozen Poirier shit. Oh my god, yo! Damn, bro, this guy's a Pereira level overhand. No, actually, not really. I love that. Now, when it comes to these types of pred catches where they're putting their hands on these predators, I'm seeing two sides to it. Some people think that maybe these pred catchers are going a little too far and they should just get the evidence and let the police do the rest of the work. Nah, fuck it, bro. I do not agree with that. I think, bro, if you're there to meet up with a 13 year old girl or whatever it is, if you were caught in that situation, you deserve whatever's coming to you. That's my opinion, bro. I don't think you can be too hard on something like that. Cause imagine it really was one of those girls and then they're scarred for the rest of their lives. Cause some dude was fucking weird back when they were young and then they don't live it down till they're like 40. They probably never live it down. So the way I see it, it's like, bro, there's some things that are just unforgivable and being a predator is one. It's being a predator, committing murder, if it's not justified. So like if someone kills your mom and then you kill them, that's fair. But like, if you're just killing someone for no reason, that's messed up. And then just being a fan of being Gary. There's three things that are just fucking unforgivable. Work instead of beating on these predators. Even though these preds are bad people and they're trying to link up with children, some people are saying that they shouldn't be getting beaten on at the no. end of the day because it's just straight up unprofessional. They should just no, it's not unprofessional. It's hilarious, bro. That's that's bullshit. Embarrass the predators, then give the paperwork to the police. Like that's just more of a professional approach. But then others think that the police isn't doing enough. Slash these preds aren't really getting what they truly deserve. For so real. these beatings are pretty justified. Those are like and the thing about beating the bump as well is that if other predators are out there thinking of doing this and thinking of meeting up with these people and you're watching videos of guys like that getting beaten up and humiliated publicly on the internet that would stop some of them from doing it as opposed to just getting caught out in a walmart where you could probably run away and they're just going to chase you and that's it bro these dudes are beating the fuck out of you are like the two main sides i'm seeing now i will say i do understand both sides and i do believe these predators are deserving of these beatings because at the end of the day like i said they're trying to meet up with little kids that is disgusting and that is illegal why are you as a 40 year old man trying to link up with a child or even For a teenager real? like that's just straight up disgusting my guy imagine if these dudes didn't show up and a child showed up instead what would have happened that kid would have been traumatized something really bad would have happened i just said that bro. time i do think that these beatings are very dangerous because you never really know what these preds have on them also a lot of people have crash out tendencies nowadays it'd be nothing for a predator to just straight up blick up the spot after they get 
exposed since their life is already basically over. There's actually- That is actually true, bro. If their life is like ruined and destroyed, like why would this guy not spin the block and just unload the fucking clip? You know what I mean? That was the most gangster shit I've ever said. I said that so well, but anyway. See a situation where a predator actually shot one of these individuals. It was, oh, I believe shit. it was Jay Carnicom during a pred catch. Basically oh, what fuck. happened, they caught this predator in target and they started following him around once they saw him and eventually confronted him. Yo, was that Dante? Hell yeah. Nah, Hell yeah, yeah this Dante. Dude. My man, you wanna have a conversation about Nah, Dante definitely has a clip on him. Not for any reason other than the fact that I already heard that he got shot. I'm, of course, not making any assumptions based on anything. Of course. And once this predator notices that they have a phone recording him, he goes to reach for the phone and they kind of start to get into like a oh, little scuffle. Shit. And once that happens, the cameraman drops the camera and intervenes so you can't see much, but you can nah. obviously hear what's going on still. They didn't even get his face. What's up? What's up, boy? Then mid scuffle, you can hear a gunshot go off. Watch out. Get up off here. And unfortunately, one of the pred catchers got shot in the leg. Now, I don't think the shot no, affected the pred fucked. catcher as much. That is actually fucked, bro. Oh my god. What? What? This dude was gonna meet up with a minor with a gun? What the fuck? What the fuck? That's so weird. Dante, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Because after he got shot, it sounds like they still continue to like wrestle a bit with each other. These dudes are killers. Put that down. Bro. These dudes are actually killers, bro. And after they were done like wrestling with the guy, they eventually ended up taking his gun and the predator ran off. Hey, I shot. Or something. Holy shit. I got the gun away, brother. God, he was gonna kill me. I don't want to kill all of us. What? Now, obviously, this predator did get exposed, but at the same time, one of the hunters were shot, and it could have been way worse. And this is why I understand that side where people think that the police should really handle these situations. Low key, that actually makes sense now that I hear this. That does make sense. Because it's like, at the end of the day, this could have ended terribly. It really could have. For Luckily real. it didn't, but it easily could have. There's actually a pred catcher that was killed and he went by the name of Bupak Shakur or Footage Gang 248 on Instagram. And a lot of people suspected that he actually died during a pred catch. A quick summary of like Shit. his content, basically what he'd do, he'd catch predators in Michigan by posing as a underage girl online. Once he'd meet up with these predators, he'd embarrass them. Them, the slap them, break their car windows, or even oh. slash their tires. And one oh. day when he was out, he walked into a diner and he confronted this group of two. One was 16 going on 17 and the other was 18 years old. And that confrontation turned into a fist fight. And then that fist oh, fight turned shit. into a shooting. The 16 year old actually shot Bupak. And then later on that night, Bupak ended up passing away. Like I said, people suspect- What, bro? That is insane. That is so fucking messed up, bro. That 16 year old, bro, just Send the dude to death, straight up death penalty, bro. Trying to meet up with a minor and then killing someone? I'm sorry, bro. That's enough for it. That's actually enough for it. People suspected that his death was from a pred catch. There's no real confirmed evidence from the police to oh, okay, that fault. claim. But I started to do a little digging with this because I just thought it was pretty interesting. Now, some sources are saying that Bupak actually accused one of the two of being a pedophile. And that's why he punched the guy. That's what one source is saying. Another source, which is an Instagram comment on his most recent post, which I mean, that right there could already tell you like the validity of this, but I'm still gonna say it anyway. The comment states that a predator that he caught before maced him in the situation and Bupak saw him in that diner and that's why he oh. confronted him. And then that's when the whole altercation happened. Now, my takeaway from oh. it, if this death was from a predator catch, then that's just another example of why the these vigilante predator catches are pretty dangerous. But if this death- That is true. They're constantly putting themselves in danger, bro. Because most of the predators, like, yeah, they're all fat nerds. But you get that couple of them, for instance, Dante, who are kind of like gangsters. Not gangsters, sorry. That made them actually sound cool. Who are kind of dangerous. You know what I mean? They're not fat nerds who are just into anime. These dudes are actually just into that shit but they just have different hobbies. For instance, maybe they like to collect guns or maybe they're just dangerous motherfuckers in general, which is worrying. Cause at the point where you have nothing to lose, you're the most dangerous. So if there's dudes who's like, oh fuck it, you know, I've already been outed for my shit. Why not get a bit of revenge? Which is actually terrible to think about, bro. That is actually horrible. Personally, I respect the pred catchers. I got to give them credit for that shit. But uh, that video kind of opened my eyes, bro. Like I would want to do it, but I'm also worried about getting killed. You know? But anyway, that's it for today, gentlemen. Have a good one, and I will uh, see you guys when I'm looking at you. I can see through daylight.